Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So seam ripping is definitely one of the more annoying parts about sewing. If you're using your seam ripper, you've inevitably made a mistake and you're kicking yourself in the butt and you're annoyed and frustrated. So the only thing to make that more annoying is having to individually pick out each stitch with your seam ripper. That's terrible. There's actually a much better way. This is a trick that I have used for a long, long, long time. Um, and wanna share it with you guys in case you don't realize that there is a whole nother way to use your seam ripper. Let me show you. Okay, so in order to unpick this seam, a lot of us would go to the wrong side and we would start unpicking like so right? And then, you know, pulling the seam apart and unpicking this way, little bit by little bit, right? Let me get this edge going. Okay. But did you know that there is a reason for this little red dot? This is supposedly what creates the treat instead of a trick. So if you take the red dot and you stick the red dot in your seam, magic is supposed to happen. <laughs> magic ensuing soon. You guys couldn't even see that. So hold the ends and you're supposed to be able, maybe because it's a gathered skirt. I don't know what's happening. Um, but this is supposed to glide on through your fabric. And you're supposed to be able to rip this all out in one smooth thing. Okay, so that's not working on this fabric. Let's try another one. Okay, so now I have a scrap of twill that I have sewn just a straight stitch on. You can see the straight stitch there. Now let's see if the little magical red ball works. <laughs> that sounded funny. Ah. Oh. Okay, well there you have it. That was really nice and easy it worked better on the like more stable fabric let me try on this guy again maybe the other way red ball goes down i'm trying to like grasp the edge here oops i don't like it that way let's try it this way again I think it's working on this quilter's cotton. It's just a little bit confused because of the gathers. So maybe doing it, there we go. Maybe doing it on the gathers isn't the best option either. But you kind of have to keep both sides taut, which is maybe why the twill worked better. Either way, I do feel like this is faster, right? It's faster than picking out each individual thread. There we go. So maybe just the gathers cause that one to trip up. So there you have it. Did you even realize that there was that little red ball there? Did you even realize it had a purpose? Did you think that it was just decorative or what? Um, as you can see with the more stable, thicker fabric, it worked like a charm with gathers. It's a little bit iffy, um, but I guarantee you, no matter what, it's faster than picking out all the individual stitches or even you know, every inch and then ripping the, the ones in the middle. It's definitely faster than all of that. It is a wonderful treat and makes seam ripping, although still annoying, um, because you're made a mistake and you have to go back and fix it. It makes it a little less annoying because you can get to fixing it faster and moving 
forward with your project rather than moving backwards or being at a standstill. So let me know what you guys think about this treat of a trick and um, leave that in the comments below. I have in the description box all of the links for this week's videos. So if you want to see more from this series, be sure to check out the description box. Tomorrow, we are going to be talking about sharpening your cutting tools, whether that be scissors or rotary cutters. So there's a trick out there that is supposed to make this doable at home where you don't have to take your um, scissors to be sharpened and you don't have to replace your rotary blades. So we will see how that goes when I see you tomorrow. Bye!